So, like, I hope he has a missus out there because whatever you want to do. There's some lady Knock who's yourself out. watching this right now who's pretty pretty <laughs> thrilled with all of it. So, flags. Speaking of that, yeah. Memorial Day weekend. Mm -hmm. We got Memorial Day right now, but we have uh, been keeping our eye on the weather. Yeah. Because it's not looking so great. No, Alberto really put a put a wrench in a lot of people's plans, especially down on the beach. Right. Uh, just a kind of a nasty weekend to be anywhere along the Gulf Coast. And then we get the rainfall already, and we've got more on the way. We'll talk more about the impacts of Alberto in a second. But right now, on Storm Team Radar, we are socked in with clouds. We've got a lot of rainfall. Some of the heavier showers now starting to move into the south and eastern portions of our viewing area. We actually even have a couple of rumbles of thunder down there as well. All of these bands will be moving in from the south and east today, and then basically due north for tomorrow as what's left of Alberto, once it moves uh, inland, will move through central Alabama, basically right up I-65 through the area tomorrow, and that will lead to a chance for some flash flooding and also a severe weather risk that we'll detail here in a second. But right now, this is Alberto. The, uh, the storm itself is in the Gulf of Mexico, but you see how large the impacts are. We've got rain all the way into the Carolinas, down through central Alabama, and then another plume of showers and thunderstorms off the coast of South Florida. They've been socked in with a ton of rain here the last several days. So the particulars on Alberto, winds of 65 miles per hour. It's still a subtropical storm, but it still has winds of a good size tropical storm. Northwest at 7 is the movement, so it's actually slowed down here overnight. We expect it to pick up a little bit more speed through the afternoon or through the morning and afternoon and by say one o'clock getting very close to making landfall somewhere near Panama City Beach, Fort Walton Beach, that area, right near Destin probably, in between Panama City and Destin. Then by the late afternoon into the evening it moves in to Alabama. Early tomorrow morning it's just south of Montgomery and that's when we start to see the impacts. Heavier rain begins for Tomorrow morning, we'll show you future casts in a second. And then by Tuesday afternoon into the Tuesday evening and Wednesday, it turns into just a remnant low and moves to the north into the Tennessee and Ohio River Valley. So let's talk about the future cast. You see waves of showers and a few embedded thunderstorms for today. The flash flooding risk, I think, will be fairly low today. I think the more rain accumulates, especially tomorrow, that's when our flash flooding risk will really start to ramp up. But we'll see these bands move in later on uh, this afternoon into the evening. And then what's left of Alberto actually moves in. This is the actual low pressure area of the storm right up I-65, I think is where that's going to go. And that is going to spin a lot of rain into central Alabama, mostly on the east side of I-65. Those bands continue to move through Tuesday night into Wednesday. And finally, by Wednesday, things do start to settle down. But with Alberto comes a couple of different uh, risk factors. We've got a marginal risk for severe weather, and with that comes a low-end tornado threat. We're talking about very quick spin-up tornadoes, uh, just like we saw last year with a couple of tropical systems that moved in, and also gusty winds that could lead to down trees or power lines. And then we have the flash flood watch that goes through 7 o'clock on Tuesday, mainly for East Alabama, talking about anywhere from 4 to 5 inches of rain for some spots. This is that purple to orange shaded area. You could see 4 to 5 inches. Everyone should be ready for at least 2 inches of rain the next couple of days. I think 4 to 5 would be a pretty good bet along and east of I-65. So weather aware day today, weather alert day for tomorrow for more rainfall. Rain continues on Wednesday. We finally get back to a more typical summertime pattern by Thursday and the weekend ahead.